What's up guys, Valence Ring here again. I uh, wanted to do another quick video um, showcasing heroes and this is a you know important video especially if you're not too familiar with the heroes and I want to showcase uh, some of the newer heroes. Uh, today I was actually lucky in the joy event which is <laughs> I'm almost never lucky I think everybody will concur. Um, as you can see I only have 24 percent but I actually hit um, the triple sevens and was able to win um, the last hero for my collection so I want to go ahead and do a hero video since I finally obtained them all as you can see I have none left to obtain um, so now it's all about leveling them up uh, I have a couple at five plus five a couple at plus four and then a lot at three two and so on um, one thing I do want to mention, obviously, uh, newer players, you're going to see mostly the level 2s, 3s, and some of the 4s. If you get lucky uh, from Noah's Tavern, you'll be able to hit some 5s. Um, and Scarlet, which is a unique hero in that uh, it's the only hero that you absolutely have to buy from uh, the shop. You have to pay money for her. Um, so that's why she's at plus 0. I don't really like paying for heroes, but um, just to round out the collection, I do actually have her. Uh, it's only $4.99 to get her. But uh, to level her up is rather expensive. I think to get her to plus 5 is like $200 um, total um, from start to finish. And then to get her up to plus 7 um, is probably another 200 So that's a really high dollar amount. If you want to spend it, great. Um, she does have some good troop skills. The free speed up, build speed, and troop size are all helpful. Um, but I just have her just to have her. Uh, I don't plan on going too much further with her. So uh, if you are free to play, uh, obviously we, you can probably ignore her for now. Um, I want to mention that basically your two stars are mostly support heroes. As you can see, all mine are at plus thir or level 31 plus 5. So you do want to max them out uh, to plus 5. At the highest they really need to be is level 31 because that is when their last skill gets unlocked for their troop skill. So a real quick rundown of how this works. Um, obviously you can see the upgrade. This shows their attack, defense, and hit points. And level 2s are going to be your weakest, even at plus 5. Um, enhances how you, you, get, you get more frags and then you can get them up to that plus 5 level. And as you can see, plus 5 is the highest you can go with anything except for a 5-star hero. 5-star uh, heroes can become red star and then they can get up all the way up to plus 7. Uh, it takes a lot of hero frags to do that. Uh, as you can see, Kento is maxed out at plus 5. And then the troop skills. Um, so the quick rundown. Troop skills for 2-star uh, heroes max out at, at level 31. So you unlock all three troop skills at level 31. 3 stars, on the other hand, you don't unlock them until 71. As you can see here on the bottom with Bard. Uh, level 71 is required to unlock that final skill and four star don't unlock until level 131 you can see that here at the bottom with rain um, <laughs> so you do want to be able to eventually you know get these heroes even the ones you're not using up to that max level to unlock their troop skill in case you do need it and there are a good you know a lot of situations where it is helpful to have them especially if you're free to play or um you know newer to the game and you get some of these higher heroes uh four stars and five stars even some of your three stars getting them maxed out and um over that cap so that all their skills are unlocked is going to be very beneficial to you now, you know, obviously, uh, I just really, I'm not going to go through every hero. I just kind of want to show you how you can go through the heroes and see how they work. So, obviously, the higher the star level, the stronger the hero. Um, and Requiem is my only red star. You can see there the red star in the middle. That basically means that now I can take her up to plus 6 and plus 7. But it takes 150 frags to get her up one more level. And I don't know what it takes to get up to level 7 yet. Um, I'm going to guess um, probably 300 frags, uh, probably double. At any rate, uh, the way that what I really want to show you as far as hero goes is understanding the tabs, how to look at the hero, and understand what they do. So I've already shown you how you know the upgrade, and obviously she's level 310, so she's maxed out. And I think all heroes right now, the cap is 310, and that's across the board. Um, once, and then you have the enhance, which is where you use the frags to get the plus level right here. <coughs> and then, of course, you have your troop skill. <clears throat> now, the troop skill 
is interesting because in some cases it helps you all the time and in some cases you have to send the hero into battle for it to apply. So how do you know the difference? Well one way is you can just click on it and as you can see here this will bring up the skill true pit point. Uh, it shows you every level what it will be uh, so you can see what happens when you upgrade it. As you can see uh, of six red star at plus five is 40 percent boost so I got an eight percent boost just for getting her to red star and once I get her up another level it'll be 51.2 percent and at plus seven it'll be 75 percent as you can see here I could have taken her up to plus seven without getting her the red star but obviously the red star is makes a huge difference um, and you get the red star with these special books as you can see obsidian's ready to go uh, next to the stars you see this up arrow and you need these particular books, the Combat Manual 6. Uh, you need 2,000 of them, plus you need 500,000 anti-serum to boost them up to Red Star. Uh, if you don't have that or still waiting on it, um, you can still enhance up to plus 7 on your 5-star heroes. Only 5-star heroes, uh, that, is, as far as I know, can go up that high. Everyone else is capped at plus 5. Um, I'll show you that here, like Barbera. She's you know only capped at plus five she's already maxed out all right so going back in so requiem here the troop skill like i said you can click on it and it'll show you where it goes but the important note here is it says takes effect when the hero joins rally battle so when it says rally battle that means any battle um, i don't know why it says rally battle it doesn't have to be a rally to apply but she does have to be part of a march for it to apply so this doesn't just happen your true pit point isn't boosted just for having her if she's just sitting around doing nothing it doesn't count for anything um, you actually have to have her in the march and then the the true hit point will take effect based upon her level so right now mine is at you can see here where it's currently at my troop hit point is plus 40, troop attack plus 40, and troop defense is all plus 40. So if I send her in a march, or send her out to attack, or send her in a rally, then that those stats will apply for the troop boost. So I almost always use Requiem because a 40% boost to all my troops is pretty big deal. Uh, if I had you know more heroes that were stronger than that fighter-wise, I would use them for my fighter lineup. But because I don't, I use her... Um, she there's really great stats and they're very helpful um, in everything so she's also in my wall and I'll get into that later so that's how you can kind of see um, how these play out and I'll actually show you some like Lavina she's a new hero that some of you might not have yet but her troop skill is awesome fighter attack rider attack shooter attack passive the passive means that I don't have to have her in my lineup for these stats to apply. I definitely want to get her to plus five as soon as I can, but she is not cheap. It's based on Reservoir War, and Reservoir War is hard to get uh, water bottles, um, and it takes a thousand to get one frag. Um, so her next level, I need still need 14 more frags. That's 14 a uh, thousand water bottles so I'm gonna have to win Reservoir War like another seven times before I can get her to the next level but if you look in here own the hero to activate this effect this is a big deal obviously if she was plus five it would be 60 percent fighter attack if I got her to red star it would be a 75 percent uh, fighter attack that's absolutely massive she's a great hero to have um, I don't really use her much other than the fact just owning her, you get these boosts. Most heroes, that's not going to be the case. Uh, she's a newer hero that they just released with Reservoir War and is absolutely, the the, boot, the stats are great. So the only other thing that uh, I haven't touched on yet as far as heroes goes is the hero skill. Now, especially doing Arena, uh, Commander Duel Conquest, and things like that, um, Hero Duel Glory... <coughs> the big things to note here are the hero skills and this is kind of like what the hero actually does in battle so you can see the very top one is usually um, what they're going to do when they're in like a march so it deals 440 percent damage to the target and as you can see up here in the top she is a military type hero who can buff riders in battles. So when it says deals 440% damage, she does deals 440% of rider damage, um, in case you weren't aware of that. 
But um, other than that, so that's kind of like how she affects um, ba in the battles. But when you're in like arena and things like that, the next three are really what matter. So as you can see here, she has an energy chain. Uh, enhanced active skill applies a heal stealing effect on the target for three rounds. So that means that basically she's going to steal whatever heals that the other team puts on their heroes. She's going to get that effect and not them. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good uh, skill to have. And then electronic wave enhanced active skill dispels all foes buffs. That's huge. I absolutely love that um, in arena battle because a lot of um, other heroes will create boosts, attack boosts, and things like that for their heroes. So this allows you know her to get rid of those. And it depends upon how much you've leveled or up. Um, huge momentum. Enhanced active skill increases all comm style allies crit rate by 10% for four rounds, unable to dispel. So if you're unaware, um, comm style are blue, and I forget all of them, but you know, we can go check. Uh, green is brave, red is rash, and then gold is wary, and purple is avid. And you can check that like I'm checking right now just by simply clicking on it. And it will actually show you how these stats um, favor different styles, different colors of heroes. And this little uh, board that you see here on the screen is actually in every battle so you don't have to memorize it. Um, just know that the arrows point strong and weak. So for instance, uh, purple and gold are weak and strong against each other respectively and and kind of baseline on everything else whereas if you look at green it's pointing at blue so they're strong against blue but they're weak against red okay and they're going to be kind of regular against everything else and this is really important especially in arena battles and understanding how each hero is going to, uh, how the tiles are going to do damage because the tiles you're, are basically acting on behalf of your heroes. So, you know, if you send purple tiles against a, a gold t a hero, you're going to do 200% damage. And that's how that works. All right, so you can check all that there. Um, go back into hero skills. So just, you can always click on it and it kind of give you a little bit more information, your troop skills. You can always see that skill, how it works, how it affects each individual, uh, hero and how the boosts apply. So does it apply for just owning it? Uh, for instance, we can come down here and look at Griffin. His troop skill is, uh, one of them is wood output. So own the hero to activate this effect. So just having them in my lineup, uh, just owning him actually will create that boost for me once I get it to that level. So especially in the beginning, uh, definitely try to get your frags up uh, for some of these lower level heroes. It might seem silly, but getting those you know food output boosts up max as possible will help you for the entire game. So being able to maximize that early on, especially if you're like weak in an area, um, is, is can be super critical like Kento is great be in the beginning getting him leveled up um, as soon as possible to plus five because look at that research food cost and wood cost are down a hundred thousand might not seem like a lot uh, as you get in higher levels but the more every time you research you're going to save that amount of wood and food and that will help you uh, the earlier you get it on so other than that, I do want to go over just a couple of the, the newer heroes that you may or may not have seen. Atropos, um, I, I, I like her. I um, haven't used her too much yet. I, I tried her out in Arena. She has some pretty cool, uh, her troop skills are great. Uh, I do want to go over those in a second, but her hero skills are pretty cool. So it dispels the target's buff and the target's rage by 40%. Um, again, that's really good. Um, she also has this decay. It just it uh, reduces all fo foes' heal rate by 50% for four rounds, unable to dispel. So basically, she reduces the ability of the entire team uh, to heal, even though she only hits one person at a time. Um, and she heals when she hits. And then she converts 70% damage dealt into hit point restoration. So she's super tanky. Um, if you look at her stats, she has uh, high hit points. Uh, high defense uh, or high attack and a kind of medium defense. So 
but she's really really an interesting hero to play around with i haven't played around with her enough but i do like her if you haven't had her yet uh you can get her with global ace commander the uh, epic hero cards that you get from that you can pick obsidian or atropo and um i i like both obviously i've done obsidian already i got him up to max uh he's part of the reason i have such high rider boosts um and i really like his skills and in battle his ability to you know he steals buffs on uh, from the from the opponents and puts them on random allies, which is great. And he also uh, restores five percent of hit points per round for the first six rounds, which is really good. Uh, it helps him last a little bit longer, especially in the beginning. And then uh, he increases damage dealt to rash style foes by forty percent. So he's really good against. Uh, you know, like a mostly red fighter base. Um, if you see a lot of red heroes, you want him in your lineup if at all possible. So I did want to go re back really quick to Atropo because she has some unique skills. Um, as you can see, the troop skills, raid hit point, raid defense, and raid attack. Um, and th these are very important uh, distinctions. It's different than a lot of other heroes, but it's troop hit point is plus 45 in Sanctuary Battle. So what this means is takes effects when the hero joins the rally battle so what this actually means is the only time her boosts take effect is when she's in the lineup and it's a sanctuary battle so it has to be your sanctuary or you're attacking someone else's sanctuary i haven't tested her out yet in like say reservoir war where you're going to attack a tower or military base um, so I don't know if her boosts will help there, but I'm going to guess that they don't. This is strictly for Sanctuary Battles, as far as I can tell. Um, I know it doesn't work on Zombie Layers. Um, we've tested that, and absolutely does not work. So I'm going to assume that only Sanctuary Battles it, it applies for. It might apply for Towers and things like that and seeing a Tech Hub. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. At any rate... Uh, most of the heroes just go in check them out see what their troop skills do you can click on it to see you know is it all the time and some of them are you know pretty obvious like infirmary healing speed obviously you're not going to have to have her put somewhere for that to take effect and troop size um you know this one is always always a boost that applies to you to, to your sanctuary so it doesn't matter it's always going to boost your heroes your troop size no matter which hero it says um so that's really good to have every hero you can get with a troop size is going to be able to boost your military might and then some are rally size and these are um other good ones to have i think dr j is a great one uh his troop skill and you know i have a plus hundred thousand for my rally size at plus five that's a pretty big deal and there are other ones that do i think even more than that but dr j is one of the easiest ones to get to plus five with a little bit of luck at any rate um just being able to understand how to go through and check these guys out see what they're about and obviously you, you know you're gonna have to take what you have and see how that works leah is probably one of the hardest heroes to get because she's only able to be obtained right now, as of this video, um, through Break Loose event. And the Break Loose event is not easy. It comes right after Global Ace Commander, sometimes during. And basically, um, you have to do some crazy tasks with really high percentages. And uh, here's a Break Loose. You can see I haven't even done any of it. Um, build, research, and train units. Normally these are, you know, fairly simple and if you're lower level it's not too bad to get these up, but you're only getting two points, you know, for uh, might and things like that, but you need 625 and then you get two of her frags. Um, obviously when you rank high, the max you're going to get if you place number one is 18. Um, I definitely recommend trying to get her, but my recommendation for this is only go for it when you are sure you're going to complete it and when you're normally going to be doing it anyways don't go out of your way to spend a lot of resources on doing this um, unless you if, if she's the last hero you need obviously i would you know do what you got to do but very expensive considering global ace commanders coming up soon and we just finished one um it's really hard to to double up on a lot of these and the break loose right before this one uh, they will go every six hours was actually training units so i actually was able to get the last one with training units but i'm not going to double up and do it again it's just too much resources for a couple hero frags i'll wait until i'm ready to do it all right guys so that's basically heroes um 
the only other thing I wanted to mention is an arena. Um, you got the hero duel survival and you're going to want to pick your defense. Picking your strongest heroes is not always the best case. So as you can see here, I left Requiem out, even though she's my strongest hero by far. She's Red Star plus 5, level 310. Um, she's only, you know, only going to get a little bit stronger from there. But I don't even have her in the lineup because I happen to find that I like this lineup. It does really well in defense and, and offense. You know, Myers boosts attack. Phoenix does a crazy amount of damage the longer she survives. Um, Obsidian steals buffs, Myers gets rid of buffs, Fox gets rid of buffs, or debuffs, and then Eve and Fox both heal. Um, it's a very good lineup. Uh, I think a lot of people run something similar. Um, but as you can see, um, if you look here at my record, you know, I, I lose some, I win some. But the people that are beating me, look at that. Four red stars <laughs> and a Mantis, which is a crazy great character, um, but I don't have her high enough level to, to utilize her. But all of these are red stars max level, and that's what it took to beat my lineup. Um, you know, these people, this one was actually pretty surprising that it won, but it was a five uh, red star obsidian. Um, but most of the time, I'm getting crushed by higher level people, and it's just how it goes. But at any rate, in Arena, you want to try different combinations, set up different defenses, play around with it. You're going to lose some. You're going to win some. Find what works best for you, and obviously, um, when you're challenging, especially early on, don't worry about losing too much. It's always a good idea to kind of mess around and see what you have going. Uh, you can click on their little picture and see what their lineup looks like. Um, and you can see a lot of people run Zephyr if he's if you have him high enough level. He's a great tank, hard to kill, especially in arena. At any rate, um, I just want to go over some of that with you guys. Uh, Phoenix, I absolutely love her. She's great. Uh, she's good for shooters, and <clears throat> as you can see here, her overheat is probably one of the best skills in the game. At the start of the battle, increases attack by 5% every round up to 80%, unable to dispel. So the longer she survives, the harder she hits. You can get to a point where she's just, once she attacks, it almost wipes out the other team. All you have to do is keep her alive long enough. If you can boost her with Myers, um, she does crazy amounts of damage. Her frags are also a little difficult to get and are usually through some of these other events such as um, the uh, even module event. As you can see, I'm not going to be able to get the frags this time. But uh, ranking in these, you can get up to 30 frags and you can get Phoenix Zephyr or Lady M, who I also like. Anyways, guys, um, I think that's it for now. Just go through, check out your heroes, read up on them, see what they do. Um, I didn't go through as many as I wanted to, but I feel like the video is already getting a little long. So, so the final thing I want to talk about uh, that I haven't mentioned yet, and sorry I saved it for last, but uh, let's go over basically some of the more common ways to get hero frags and manage your hero frags like i said some of these you can uh, level twos and level threes level fours you can max out but you still might be able to get the frags so what do you do with the excess frags so obviously you can see where you're not obtained but you go into your bag here and you see this tab that says hero frag and you can exchange no points for heroes so as you can see here this lists every frag that i have for every hero so if we go all the way down, obviously some of these I'm still trying to build them up, so I don't want to get rid of their frags or anything, but Queenie, Zavis, Maverick, Amber, all of these guys, I have frags for them, but I can't level them up anymore. So what I'm going to do is recycle their frags. Now be careful that you're not recycling frags on heroes you're trying to build up. That's a complete waste. You don't want to throw them away. Some of them are really hard to get, and actually some of them you can't get rid of. They're that hard to get. For instance, Eve. Eve, the only way to get frags is in ruins, and there are no other ways. So there's only one way to get her to max level, and that is in ruins. So they won't even let you recycle her frags as well as Lavina and Leah because they are specialty heroes that are difficult to get. You cannot recycle their frags, at least not right now. Otherwise, what you're going to want to do is come down to the heroes that you do have maxed out. Go ahead, hit recycle, and you can do this if you want to with heroes that you don't think are important and that you're not going to use. I recommend getting every hero to that max level before you recycle their frags. That's my opinion. Do what you think is best. 
Anyways, you go in here, you click recycle, you select the number of frags you want to get rid of. Zavis is maxed out. I'm going to get rid of all of his frags and recycle them. As you can see, I obtained 24 points. He's only level 2, and a lot of these level 2s are very low in points. Um, as you go up and you start getting into the level 3s, as you can see Anita here, she's worth 10 or worth 100 points. Okay, So as I go in and I recycle all the frags that I have that I don't need, then I can come out here and I can go to Noah's Tavern. And let me go ahead and get my free attempts, which you should do this as often as you can. It is time-based, and hopefully, let's hope for a good hero. No, and I serum. Anyways, uh, this is the recruit page, and obviously, you should know already about your basic, your intermediate, and your advanced recruits. Um, the star level right above it should indicates how many stars uh, type of heroes you can get um, obviously the integers between two and four and the advance is three to five obviously the advance are the best I do not recommend cashing these coins in until you have nine you're wasting them if you do it anytime sooner um, unless you're really early on and you just don't have any heroes or you really need to level them up to get past a, a level of campaign saving them until you have nine grants 10 times so it's basically you're getting one for free and I can't swear to it but I think that your odds of getting better heroes or actually getting like 10 frags at a time goes up when you do the 10 times so it's definitely save it for that but anyways the thing I want to mention was the exchange so you come in here and as you can see I only have 637 points that's because I already claimed the bunch but you can use these 637 points to get or whatever points you have from recycling to get other hero frags. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of heroes in here, not all of them, um, and you can go through and look and see what you can get, but some of the top ones are Ulrich, Fox, and Requiem, Ephraim. Ephraim. These are great heroes, totally critical as Fox. Um, you know, I love Requiem, and Ulrich is huge. I know a lot of people swear by him. Um, I don't have him up high enough yet, but you can get, you know, lower level frags for Hartwell, Siu Yun, Rain, Sanguine, Griffin, all these guys. So what I recommend, and this is just a recommendation, you do what you think is best for you. I recommend starting at the bottom. Get all of your two star, your three stars, your four stars, get them max level and pick heroes where the, the troop skill benefits you in the long run. Sanctuary boosts, uh, troop size, rally size, um, output boosts, wood, food, gas, gas cost down, food cost down, all of those sanctuary boosts. Um, try to maximize those heroes first. Your five star heroes, you're going to try and maximize for military and things like that. Um, but for your sanctuary, it's going to be mostly your two and three star, four star heroes. Get them up as soon as possible for two reasons. One, the frags are more common, so you're more likely going to be able to get more of them once they're maxed out, recycle them and exchange them for some of the better heroes. Like all of my two, three and four star heroes are all maxed at plus five. So anytime I get a two, three or uh, almost all fours, any two or three, I can recycle their frags without even thinking about it, and I'm pretty close to getting all my fours up there as well. And once you do that, then you can start focusing on, you know, Ulrich and Fox, Requiem, Ephraim, and, you know, all these great heroes, and basically you're getting it for doing what you're already doing. At any rate, I did want to mention that. Um, make sure that you guys understand how that works. Obviously, like I said, only use it when you get nine coins, and... Um, when you do get these uh, cards right here, your hero choice cards, I save them until I'm ready to upgrade my heroes. There's no reason to just buy anything with it. There are events where getting hero frags boosts, uh, give you boosts and give you rewards for doing so. So I save it for those events. As you can see, we just recently had an event and that's why all my cards are gone. I used them, I got the rewards for the event and I boosted my heroes all in one shot. It's the smartest way you can do it. Save your resources, use them for events, and boost that way. Um, and then, of course, these hep Epic Hero Choice cards, too, are for Phoenix, Zephyr, and Lady M. I'm saving mine until I can get um, Phoenix up to level 4, so I need another 20 of them. So wish me luck on that. At any rate, 
I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that. Um, another tactic for getting frags um, and utilizing excess frags. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, and one last thing. Uh, Tomio, I forgot she's one of the newest heroes out, just released. Her troop skills are pretty standard though. Troop hit point defense and attack. I only have her at plus zero. I just got her. Um, she was the one I got out of the Joy Coin uh, event. Really hard to get uh, frags for her, for her and some of the other heroes. But she's pretty cool. I haven't uh, tried her yet because I don't have her up enough yet. I just finished leveling up Atropo. But uh, Bloody Charge Up Enhanced Active Skill converts 30% damage dealt into hit point restoration. That's obviously pretty cool. Basically, she's a vampire. <laughs> uh, Soul of Bishojo, if I said it right. Enhanced Active Skill. All allies have a chance to increase attack by 100% for two rounds. That's huge. And then Avid Rampage for six rounds after the start of battle. Resource 5% rage per round for all Avid type allies. I'm not a huge fan of the skills that require all the same color because I don't run a lot of lineups like that. There are a few situations where it's very helpful, especially in Ultimate Challenge, where you only have one or two options. But outside of that, for the most part, I run a mix of heroes and I don't want to be required for a skill to be effective on only one type of hero. But that being said, if you do run a lot of purples, um, this would be a very, very helpful skill. At any rate, that's everything, guys. Uh, if this was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. I know it went a little bit long. Um, thanks for your support, and best of luck, guys.